G'day, I'm Ewan Hills, manager of ArtMob here in Hobart. I'm here to tell you a bit about the current exhibition we have, which showcases the last 13 remaining works of an eminent Walpuri artist by the name of Murdy Nabajipa Morris. Now, Murdy was born in the, the, sometime in the 1930s, which makes her about 90 years old now. And she started painting amazingly at the age of 80, just 10 years ago. It's a story that um, continues with some of our artists, not too many. And I know before I've mentioned Sally Gabori's rise to fame from when she started painting at 81. But Murdy's um, continued with um, her painting until just recently. She's still with us. Her works show an amazing um, story, which is very much part of her um, upbringing and what she likes to paint in a gorgeous um, palette of um, or riot of colour in actual fact. She's a real colourist. But her story is about um, Maliki Jara Jukapa, which in Walpuri language means, well, <laughs> in English language, the Walpuri of that is two dogs streaming. And it's a quite a convoluted story about um, a male dog and a female dog who met up, travelled across the country, around the area um, that, which Murdy grew up in, a rabbit flat which is towards the top end of the Tanami Desert. She lives at um, Nirupi, and that um, dreaming that she tells talks about where those ancestral dogs travelled across the country, eventually meeting up um, and getting married. They then produced a litter of um, puppies, and those puppies and their parents moved again around the country from rock hole to water hole to rock hole, various um, food areas, a lot of travelling. One stage, the two of them were separated and the male howled to recover his lost wife. That all happened. They then continued on, lived with other ancestral dogs in various places. Now, eventually, of course, like all of us, we get old, what happens? We die. And those ancestral dogs died. And you can find, if you walk around that um, Tanami Desert area, some of their skeletal remains, their rib cages in particular, are still there as evidence of these ancestral dogs. And if you look at some of these paintings, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, here, for example, here are the, the campsites where those dogs lived and moved from and to. You'll see these little U shapes around being the people or the ancestral beings sitting around those campsites. Then here through the desert, you see the skeletal remains. So it's a fairly simple story, a long story, but a powerful story. And we're very proud to have 13 remaining works from this amazing artist. So we commend this exhibition to you, grab them before they're all gone, and um, thank you for watching. Bye.